going on, people? This is Sharif Bay with the Kung Fu Life, and we're here with Mr. Jefferson of Global Proving Ground. What's going on, man? <laughs> Much respect, sir. Outstanding. I said, tell everybody what it is that you're doing, man, because I already know it's kind of amazing, and it's like our dream come true as far as as far as um, reality fighting. It's really reality fighting. So um, I want you to kind of talk about what you do. Well, like yourself and all you fans at home. I loved Kung Fu Theater. I loved Kung Fu the series. David Carradine grabbed me and held me for that hour yes. every week. Yes. And uh, Kung Fu is at the root of what Global Proving Ground is. But on top of that, all forms of martial arts. A, a movie that I loved was Bloodsport. Yes. To see all forms from all over the world fighting against each other. Not many people know this, and especially the younger fighters, the younger fans, don't realize in 1993 when Hoist Gracie and Dan Severn and all those guys got into Colorado, the only place that would sanction MMA, they had original forms. You had uh, Hoist Gracie, a small man, going against a 400 pound sumo man. Officially. Officially. That's right. Yep. That's right. And, and, there, and there wasn't as many rules. Exactly. So what we felt was, let's take old school, bring it new school, get you the fans involved. We established Global Proving Ground Worldwide Fight League and our docu-series, Warrior Island. Warrior Island is blood sport meets survivor with fan interaction. <laughs> Less rules, more blood, more fun. Rewind. Say that again. <laughs> Say that again. Warrior Island is what? Warrior Island is blood sport meets survivor. We take old school, bring it new school. We got less rules and more blood. That's... <laughs> hey, man. You heard it all and since life. it's a secret island, there's no regulation. But what's most important is honor, respect, and the spirit of martial arts. So we brought on... Uh, uh, Grandmaster, the Black Dragon, Ron, right. Van Cleef. Ron Van Cleef. Grandmaster, Chow, right That's here. Right. He's, over, he's, he's over here. here. Swing that camera. Look at there. that guy. Grandmaster, <laughs> Grandmaster Chow. Okay, he was one of the original people to bring uh, kung fu to the United States, That's the right. East Coast. You That's know, right. Bruce Lee took it West Coast. Grandmaster right. brought it East Coast. Right. Uh, Onder Yip Man, uh, the That's lineage right. of Yip Man. Uh, that, that's their family. Exactly. And uh, we have Dan the B. Severin for the striking and, and wrestling. Nice. We've got Henzo and Helsing Gracie for the ground game. We've got masters of all forms of martial arts. They're going to teach the honor, the respect, mm -hmm. and the spirit of martial arts to modern day gladiators, modern day warriors. Even coaches like Sifu Cliff, right over here, who's talking over our interview. We'll swing over to Sifu Cliff. Coach, Coach Sifu Cliff, say hi to the fans at home. Now, he is the student of Grandmaster Chow. Exactly. And he's also in the family that Bruce Lee was in with Yip Man. So we have real lineage. We're teaching these young modern gladiators of today where their sport came from. Mm. Martial arts, mm. honor, tradition, spirit, uh, respect. It's so much that in our league, Global Proven Ground Worldwide League, our code of conduct fighters have to be respectful and they have to courtesy bow mm. to one another and the referee before and after every fight. Mm. And if they disrespect the league, themselves, their family, their coaches, they're out. That's martial. That's martial law. That's martial law. That's martial etiquette. That's powerful. We've already, yeah, we've already had seven events. Uh, two in London, Portugal, Virginia, Brazil. We're spreading around the world. Uh, it's powered by you, the fans. This is not some ego trip by some guy in another organization. It's all about him. I'm not going to mention them. <laughs> but this is about you, the fans, and the real fighters. Mm. The real fighters, the martial artists, the ones who have the balls to get into the cage. Exactly. Or onto the mat. Because on Warrior Island, there's no cage, there's no mat, there's an open pit. And they'll be surrounded by the masters, and the eyes of you, the fans, will be watching them Hold on. as they <laughs> travel. Hold on. Open it's, pit. It's an open pit? Open pit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now there'll be challenges wow. for these fighters where they have to do really hard tasks mm. and there may be secret ninjas that'll attack them during the task. They don't know. People say to me, MMA fighters, they're the toughest fighters in the world. Yeah, but that's one to one. It's martial artists are trained to fight two, three, four people mm. at a time. Exactly. So why not train it to fight four? Because exactly. when you get in the cage and only fight one, it should be easy, right? Wow. In the dark, in the beach, in the rain. Wow. That's military. That is correct. Martial means military. We will be having a military you know week now. as well. That's incredible. But if it's a martial arts style, even a newer style like Krav Maga, mm. okay, even old old styles, judo, yes, or 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 amazing styles like samba, which yes. are made up of all styles in military exactly. combat. Exactly. But the root of it is really kung fu, because kung fu is is really what exploded in the United States of America, and kung fu is the spirit of what we do here in the United States, and everything kind of came from it. So it's exciting. Tell us about your background, man. 
Your uh, my background is actually Sifu Cliff. He is my background. He's right here. He's literally my background. Well, this guy knows Kung Fu very well himself. He's a well-known Sifu up in... You don't, know that, do you? You I don't do. even know who you're talking I to. Do. Do you? I do. I <laughs> do. My background. His um, his, his teacher <coughs> is uh, is grand. Well, oh, he's beyond he's grandmaster, he's Frank Yi. Huh? Oh, that's yeah. Nice. I've seen him in the Hall of Fame. This guy here, he's one of the top Hungar uh, people in this country. Look at his okay, okay, arms. Okay, okay. This is his interview, man. Oh, I know. Let's get over there. That's nice, man. That's okay because oh, there's yeah. no ego in Global Proving Ground. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. so it's about you, the fans. It's about the fighters, and and, and most importantly. It's about a family. It's a family of all martial artists. And we want you to go to globalprovingground.com because you get to vote for the fighters. Season one's already been cast. Hundreds of thousands of fans voted on the top 16 and four alternates, but now we're casting for season two. So go to globalprovingground.com, click on the YouTube channel. All you have to do is click like on the videos of your favorite fighters, whether it's Shaolin or Taekwondo or Judo or just a, a tough boxer. You asked me a question. Yes. Uh, my ADHD lets me come back to that question. <laughs> um, my background is as a, a Golden Gloves boxer, and I was a Division One wrestler at East Stroudsburg, and that was in the 1980s. So I was actually doing mixed martial arts yeah. before there was, was mixed, mixed martial, martial arts. arts. <laughs> um, I did study um, Muay Thai, yes. and um, I get a little bit of uh, extra every time I rub against all these masters Beautiful. and grandmasters. So Beautiful. through osmosis, I call myself a grandmaster wrangler. There you go. Because I'm always around them. Outstanding. So I don't I need to really, I don't really need to know my martial arts. He's really a guru in health. In fitness. Truth. I have a master. I have a master's degree in exercise physiology, so I understand the applied kinesiology of the body. So it allows me to appreciate, like when Sifu Cliff would talk about the center line and, and connecting your body and all of its muscles to the earth. Yes. I get that because yes. all the muscles and bones work off your center line. So, so with, with that, you, that education, you can is what we call de, you can demystify and decode um, um, what we call internal. Because that's what it is. I understand the internal. Yes, right, 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 right. Yes, yes, yes. And, and the thing is that all the systems of the body work in harmony or homeostasis. Yes, sir. And the, that harmony uh, is always is honed through martial arts. I discussed this earlier with one of the other grandmasters here. Is not a lot of people out there understand that Tai Chi is actually a fighting art. That's right. They think there's just some people breathing and stretching in the park. No. Yeah, go attack that group of people and see what happens. <laughs> exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So how do you know uh, Sifu Allen Goldberg? Well, actually, that's my mentor. Mm. Okay, I was lucky enough, um, I ran an event for many years, for 13 years, called the MMA and Sports Expo. Okay. And that's actually how I met uh, Sifu Cliff as well. Right, right. right. And uh, Alan Goldberg, uh, Sifu, Grandmaster, yes. uh, goes by many names, he likes me to just call him Alan. Yes. <laughs> um, he started to give me advice and, and show me how I could make some changes. And then he got me involved with helping with the Action Martial Arts Hall of Honors. Mm. I love that. Yes. I brought uh, uh, Sifu in to also be part of that. Nice. And it's, it's just connected. Connecting. Um, I learned very early on that Alan Goldberg, you know, understands how to bring all the forms together. Let's face it, you know at home, we know it. There's a lot of egos in martial arts. Uh, my school is better than your school. My form is better than your form. Alan Goldberg is the master of getting everyone to work together. Beautiful. And it's uh, it's a pleasure to go to his event. So get to the Tropicana, the largest sit-down dinner that happens every year in Atlantic City. Martial arts masters from probably 50 countries. There's a Russian contingent there that's unbelievable, like 10 tables of Russians wow. that just are amazed yeah, to even be there. Big, big, big. Oh, big, big, big I, told him I, was, I told him I was going. I, I, I yeah, have you been out there? I haven't. It's worth it. Oh, yeah. you, you'll go every year. You should come in my event, event too. Why your event? I did the Chinese Kung Fu Karate Expo. You didn't know about the Chinese Kung Fu Karate Expo? Well, you, we're the ones that were with the <laughs> MMA Sports Expo. Really? Yeah, I, that's how I make contact you gotta with you. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta send me a... Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. Oh, okay. But I thought, our, I thought I was our concept <laughs> is is the same. It's about friendship. Yes, sir. We say if you want to be, if you're friendly, yes, sir. then you can develop friendship. Absolutely. If you're not friendly, you can't. Absolutely. Well, the, the whole thing of martial arts, you know, it's just like in the military, you go through. You know, uh, basic training. You go to boot camp. You get off the bus. You don't know the guy next to you. Six weeks later, you're inviting him to your wedding. Not just because okay, we're in proximity to each other. We know each other, but we got to see the real selves through hardship. We went through hardship together. You know, and that's what. Fine. That's what really makes a martial arts. That's what brother. they're going to see at home exactly. with the docu series of Warrior Island because yes. these cameras are going to follow them in their homes, their families, their wives, their kids, their gym, their teacher. That camera is going to follow them their whole journey. Yeah. And as they enter, as they get to Warrior Island, those yes. boats will bring them to the beach. They get off those boats after that journey and they kneel before the grandmasters of Warrior Island. Yeah. Sifu Sarif, I tell you, wow. 
the, the way that, that our concept is, yeah. he's keeping us around. He hid in order because he's he's <laughs> focused on the MMA. Yes. Ours is traditional karate and kung fu. So we want to keep it very pure and respectful. And he has it right inside my 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 uh my picture. You see it. Spirit, honor, and respect. Years ago, back in nineteen seventies, two kung fu schools wouldn't agree with each other. They wouldn't have respect for each other. You do hunger, I do Wing Chun. I'm better. I have it, man. And you have. Uh, uh, we're like gangsters. You have Wong Fei Hong. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So, but but look what we have here. You know what I mean? Where. In reality, yes. every time I bash you, yes. I destroy my school. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So what he's saying is, if you keep bashing this way, yes. we don't care about that. We're doing something brand new, unique. We're creating respect and honor. Mm -hmm. We're showing the true spirit of martial arts yes. to the entire world. People that are sitting around on their butts watching TV, they've never heard of any of us before, but finally you get a chance to see what real martial arts is. Which well will inspire which will inspire them to go to their local gyms, find teachers, and go out and start to get in better physical condition themselves. Absolutely. Where all this leads though is important to understand where all this leads. Global Proving Ground Worldwide League, War Island Docu Series and War Island the Series leads us to our anti bullying child safety program. All fighters were either bullied or our okay, which was um, um, research and approved program. by the University of we'll Delaware. Take these yes. bullies goes into each community that we go to and now protects children. We're teaching them real martial arts techniques in nursery school. Start we, teaching them in nursery we school. This. We already we have, have this. this. So from it's the nursery unique. school, then the, in the schools, yeah. then they eventually go to all the schools in the area, all the affiliated schools. So now we're going to start to fix this epidemic. That's outstanding. In the world of bullying. That's right. Both verbally and physically. See, uh, yes, sir. I have five kids. Mm. And three of my kids <laughs> have already read that information. My kids are 11, 8, uh, three, two, and, and like eight months. You just had another one. Yeah. No, right yeah. now. You just had another one right now. <laughs> just right now. <laughs> but, but they understand the information. Yes. And and it's un, it's not just understandable. It's it's, it's fairly enjoyable. Nice. The the, uh, the founder of that part of our program yeah. is uh, Master Shane, Michael Graves. Uh, Michael Graves, excellent man, very good, and he's he's um. Like in the world of adults, we're talking about products, yes. but for for kids, it's it's a very uh, effective yes. uh, anti-bullying. For all the information on this, you want to go to globalprovingground.com. Absolutely. Make sure you sign up for our free newsletter. You can actually talk to our masters. We have our social network with Facebook, Twitter, all of that. So you know, interact with us. You get to vote for the fighters. You get to beat up the website. It's a pleasure being on your show. Uh, obviously, it's, it's amazing to have a Thank kung fu <laughs> martial artist right there running the show. Well, also, I'm a fan. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of combat sports. I'm a fan of anybody that has the heart to put themselves in harm's way and they're okay with it, you know, because that says something about what's in here for them. So uh, again, thank you. Thank you for the interview. You will be seeing me again. And I got a couple fighters that I think um, I want to send them to this event. I want to treat See, I'm, I'm inspired now. I'm an old man. I'm an See, old man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. And um, this is Sharif Bay, Kung Fu Life.